Let's have a look at electric car sales in the UK, in Sweden, and in France. I just reported on sales in Germany, but how are they going in those other three countries? Now, we know already that in Norway, that internal combustion is dead officially. I mean, it's 98.6% of all cars sold last month were electric. If you own an internal combustion car in Norway, its resale value is worth peanuts now. But in France, the UK, and Sweden, things haven't gone quite the same as Norway. That said, EV sales have been growing. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Electric cars have taken 29% market share in France. The Model Y has just regained the lead. Officially, the number of EV sales in France was exactly 22.4%. Plug-in hybrids were 6.5%. So, I mean, EVs 4 to 1. 4 to 1 EVs versus plug-in hybrids. That's a big difference. Anyhow, that gives you an idea of how EVs are going in France. But which cars are selling the best? Well, in September, the Model Y completely dominated the industry in France with 4,844 deliveries. In second place was the Renault 5, which is a pretty cool car, you've got to say, 2,500 deliveries. In third place, a long way back from both of those was the Renault Scenic, which is also quite a good car for the money with 1,422 sales. In fourth was the Peugeot E208. The Citroen EC3 was next, followed by the Skoda Elrock, the Renault 4, the Dacia Spring, the Volkswagen ID3, the BMW iX1, and then finally, the Tesla Model 3, which was all the way back in about 10th place. So Model Y selling, of course, much better than the Model 3. And remember, Model Y sales might actually grow now that they have a much cheaper version, 10,000 euros cheaper. The cheaper version of the Model Y, which is actually a better car than the cheaper version of the Model Y in the US, is now 40,000 euros. And the the version of car it's based on is 50,000 euros. So that's a pretty big difference. That's a 20% discount. That might help sales for Tesla in France, where it has been, Tesla hasn't done too badly in France, but it's certainly been, hasn't sold the same way. If you look at the last three months of EV sales in France, you can see the Renault 5 was pretty close to the Model Y. Model Y was still in first with 6,780 deliveries, but the Renault 5 was in second with 5,982. In third was the Renault Scenic with 2,855. Moving on, EVs have taken 35.5% market share in the UK. Clean Technica says that 23.3% were fully electric and 12.2% were plug-in hybrids for a total percentage of 35.5%. I personally don't really see plug-in hybrids as being EVs, but I know a lot of people in the UK probably drive them on battery power alone. The UK is a small place, so I guess they've got a point there. Anyhow, I believe that's um, pretty good growth for EVs. In fact, EV sales in the UK are up 29% versus the same month last year. Plug-in hybrid sales are up 56%. So, Tesla was the UK's leading EV brand for the month. Let's have a quick look at the EVs, the most popular EVs in the UK. Tesla had 11% market share, Ford had 9%, and BYD had 7.5%. So MG, who used to have the most market share for a Chinese car company, were back in about eighth place with 4.4% market share. I personally know of a lot of people who have actually bought Xpeng G6s in the UK as well. So interesting to see Xpeng sales starting to take off there too. Sweden is a very different place to the UK and France. Their EV sales, well, they are much, much higher at 38.2%. If you include plug-in hybrids, which have a staggering 30% market share in the UK, the total figure is 68.4%. So only 4% of cars sold in September in Sweden were powered by diesel and only 7% powered by petrol. So that's a pretty good number, I'd say. It's nowhere near Norway, but it's certainly heading in that direction. The best-selling EV in Sweden in September was the Tesla Model Y. 
if you actually look at the top selling EVs in Sweden, you've got a very different list of cars to what you've got in France and the UK. The only thing is the same is the Tesla Model Y is the best selling EV in all three of those countries. In first place in Sweden, it had 1,425 deliveries. In second was the Volvo EX40 with 846, followed by the Volkswagen ID7, 572, the Kia EV3, 538. Interesting to see the EV3 there. Polestar 2, 483. The Polestar 4, which I think is a, a beautiful looking car, both on the inside and the out, 462 deliveries. The Volkswagen ID4, 372. Tesla Model 3, 334. Volkswagen ID3, 303. You can see here, um, the Model Y is the best selling car in terms of EVs in Norway, Sweden, the UK, and France in the month of September, and probably many other countries in Europe as well. So a bit of a revival lately for Tesla with their Model Y sales in Europe. I guess maybe... Um, you know, maybe a little, a little bit less politics from from Trump and, of course, Musk. And that's all sort of, you know, tempered down a little bit. That might have helped. But like I said before, EV sales are growing all across Europe. In fact, EV sales in Europe this year are up by about 30%. That, for me, is the biggest takeaway here. And that means that EV sales in, the, in Europe are much higher than what they are in the United States. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now, I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code, and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount.